The first half was a period both of successful trading and important development for the group. During the half, we announced our new five-year plan and grew headline revenues well, despite supply chain constraints, whilst taking an unprecedented level of orders in hand into the second half. And then, more recently, we announced the premium disposal of our Yotta business. All of this means your company is now more focused with greater financial firepower to deliver on its growing set of organic and inorganic opportunities. Given the significance of the sale of Yotta, let us start there. First and foremost, this transaction makes clear financial sense. The £52 million consideration was paid fully in cash and represents attractive revenue and profit multiples. The second point to note is that whilst Yotta had been growing steadily in scale, particularly in building recurring revenue, it shared no overlap with Vicon, the much larger and higher growth part of our group. This meant driving synergy benefits to scale Yotta would be difficult to achieve under our ownership, whereas in joining with Causeway, this newly combined business is much better positioned to continue Yotta's growth. Importantly, this disposal changes nothing about our own ambitions for our five-year plan. But it does provide increased clarity and focus. As a reminder, our plan recognised something fundamental was changing in our markets and in our opportunity, driven by the arrival of the augmented age and its need for smart sensing solutions. Such capabilities have always been our core technology. Indeed, it provided the seed for Yotta's creation, growth and eventual sale. And today, we are seeing it can be applied to a growing set of domains and applications. Our plan looks to capitalise on this expanded opportunity by driving each of the three elements of smart sensing. Firstly, we aim to extend the sensing capabilities through R&D, M&A and fostering key supplier partnerships. Secondly, we want to enhance the analysis we can undertake to broaden the range of applications to which our systems can be applied. And lastly, we aim to embed our intellectual property in other firms' solutions by opening up our technology. Following the sale of Yotta, the entirety of this five-year plan still holds. The context of market and technology developments still hold. The validity of our three-initiative approach still holds. But now we will pursue this plan through the focus lens of our market-leading Vicon business and technology, and with the increased resources the sale of Yotta has provided to our balance sheet. This will enable us to focus on a single integrated core technology stack, extract greater operational leverage, and pursue larger scale M&A transactions, where we already hold an exciting pipeline of opportunities. Through this, our aim is to build a larger, more connected, higher growth enterprise. Turning then to our first half trading and removing Yotta from those figures, the reported revenues of the remaining group grew nicely in the first half. However, this performance does not fully reflect the underlying strength of the Vicon business when orders in hand are taken into account. Strong demand across all our vertical markets, engineering, entertainment, life sciences and LBE has been clear. But some well-publicised supply chain constraints in the first half meant we carry an unprecedented level of orders in hand into the second half. Looking forward to the rest of the financial year, the Vicon business has more than recovered from the pandemic-affected years, with ongoing buoyant market demand. The supply chain constraints are gradually improving, and the board believe Oxford Metrics will deliver in the second half and report a full-year performance in line with achieving market expectations. With growing market demand, a newly focused, more connected enterprise, and now with greater financial firepower, we believe Oxford Metrics is well positioned to realise its ever-visible, long-standing growth potential.